Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing a comparison video of Intel's i7-4790K and their older i7-3770 to see how much of a performance gap there is between these two generations of i7s. Okay, so before we get into any benchmarks, we're going to have a quick look at the specifications of the CPUs. Now starting off the i7-3770 it has four cores and eight threads due to hyperthreading. The processor base frequency is 3.4 gigahertz while it turbos up to 3.9 when under load. Now the 4790K uh, that also has four cores and eight threads due to hyperthreading but it actually its base frequency is actually 4 gigahertz and its max turbo frequency is 4.4 gigahertz. Now the non-K version of the i7-4790 only turbos to about 4 gigahertz as well. So that would probably be closer in performance to the i7-3770. However, we'll be going over some of the benchmark results um, shortly. So let's have a look at the first benchmark. We're going to be using Cinebench R15. <laughs> As you can see, uh, the 4790K has finished its run of Cinebench R15 and it's come up with a score of 805. Now if you have a look at the table there, as you can see the 4770K is actually scoring, uh, getting a score of 822. Now we're not too sure why this actually happened, maybe something was running in the background that seemed to slow it down a bit, but um, when not recording, the highest score we're able to get was 837. Um, so just bear that in mind, 837. So now let's move on to uh, Cinebench run for the i7-3770. Okay, so the i7-3770 has finished its run, but we run into the same issue we did before. As we can see, it got a score of 610, um, but on the benchmark table, a different one that I've done, I got 672. So, I'm not too sure what it is, but there's something that seems to be dragging the score down a bit, but it seems to have done it equally for both processes, so this shouldn't affect our scoring system at all. So, as we saw before, the 4790K, got a score up in the 800s, I think it was 837, uh, whereas this one got 672. So that is a 160-ish, um, 160 points or so difference. Um, but we'll have a look at the next benchmarks now. Using 3D Mark Firestrike, we'll be having a look at the physics test and what scores they get on those. Okay, 
Okay, so the 4790K has finished its run of Fire Strike. Um, now, the main score we're going to be focusing on here is the physics score, and that's the one that tests the CPU. So we've got an overall score of 10,740 with an average FPS of 34.10. Now, let's see how the 3770 is able to match up to that. Guys, so the 3770 has finished its uh, fire strike run. Now, once again, we're going to only be focusing on the physics score. It got a score of 9,481, which is 1,351 points um, below the 4790K, and it got an average FPS of 30.10, which is 4 FPS below the 4790K as well. Alright, so I've got a little graph type thing here showing the final scores of our two CPUs. In the Cinebench runs, there was a 24% um, increase uh, between the 4790K and the 3770, with the 4790K coming on top. And again, with Firestrike, we had the 4790K coming on top uh, by, by nearly half the percentage, by about 13%. So as you can see, um, depending on which benchmark you use, it can actually be a pretty big increase or not that big of one. Um, now for 24% and even 13%, the 4790K is definitely uh, a better option. Um, of course, if they were both offered for the same price, you would go for the better CPU, which is the 4790K. But if there was, say, a $250 difference, um, which there almost is these days um, when you're buying these used, um, it might not be that worth it, depending on what kind of games, what kind of workloads you're actually going to be using the CPU for. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next episode.